Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hold on, I'm not ready. Chris. Well, we're back again. This time in the hot seat, we got Daniel Castillo. To his right, Raj. To his right, me. My right hand, man. Roberts. Here we, here we go. Uh, Daniel. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Glad how, to be here. How are you tonight? I'm pretty good, man. You know, you know it's, it's good times. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So let me let, let me start this off yep. because you know I follow you on the Snapchat. And I yeah, follow I follow you, follow on you the too. Instagram. I good. follow both you guys. You know, you do I, what Roger hates. I'm, and you put the little filters on your face. But this is true, right? You hate the uh, yeah, the I, bunny faces. He told the, me that. Yeah. I hate grown ass men using these face filters. I do. But like for Daniel, like I don't know. It suits his personality. His personality, right, yeah. But I do follow you, and you know it's cool to see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Right, and so you went camping recently. Oh yes, I did. Well, now was it camping or no, was, it was it glamping? No, it was camping, dude. No, because here's what I think. <laughs> what do you think? If you're <laughs> camping, yeah, and you have access to internet and you're posting Snapchats, oh. I don't really consider that camping. But you yeah, get the well, internet anywhere thanks to fucking. This is bullshit. To if you're town. out camping in the middle of fucking nowhere and you put a tent up and there's bears and wolves and all this, so shit you shouldn't have any you, cell p- signal at all. No, you have a sat phone. Every phone's a sat phone now. Oh, I'm just man. saying that I don't yeah. consider it that. Was, it it was looked camping. like there was a cabin around. Like, no, it, it there was looked... no cabin. I wish there was. It was like 35 degrees out there. Did you shit in the woods? Dude, I didn't shit. Did Come I? on. I did. You just I held promise. it in the entire time? Held it in the entire That's, time. Why not no just go a couple phone? yards back, dig a hole, <laughs> squat? It was so cold that any movement was kind of uncomfortable. I just, I just don't like I'm not a big fan of camping. I don't yeah, it's, not, it's not my thing. You don't I like camping? I hate camping. See, I'm a glamper. Yeah, I could see that. Cabin, fireplace, hot cocoa. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So but so camping was fun. Yeah. You guys did the whole thing and Yeah, it was, it was like your... my niece's birthday. What a weird thing. Usually you go to the trampoline park or something for a little niece's birthday. Yeah. Right? She Who wanted to go to camping? She wanted to uh go camping. This dude would trip on me like Dude, what do you mean you can't skate today? I'm like, yeah, it's my mom's birthday. He's like, I, don't, I still don't get it. No, nope. <laughs> bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> he no, would. His mom's he would. birthday. He would Listen, say something. Like, he I'm would like, be... Chris, it's Father's Day. He's like, okay, so you can't come to the courthouse and meet yeah, me? Yeah, you can't go skate? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't. Did, see, I'm, I'm, this I'm is... the same as Chris, though. I'm like... <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it wasn't your mom's birthday or it wasn't Father's Day. This guy would be like, it's my cousin's nephew's son's brother's daughter's it birthday wouldn't be that deep i'd be like well have you ever met him and he's like no i don't just uh, we have to i gotta go <laughs> i'm like uh, what the like come on dude listen i like my i like my um you like your cats you might be one of those old ladies just with cats i'm a later. guy i know noticed. but <laughs> and listen just because a guy has one i'm just cat, kidding what do you mean one cat you and your frankie you have like you had like so many cats I haven't had so many cats. Listen, I had Maybe. Slick. Slick. Garvey, I, which is. Garvey. And now Larry. Lawrence? Larry. Lawrence. Larry. Okay. I, I teach her how to. She? Yeah. <laughs> Why does everybody trip on that? It's fucking <laughs> cat. But I teach her how to shake and I teach her all kinds of tricks. She's a good girl. I was impressed with that. Raj has a rabbit. I mean, yeah. come on. Oh, Basil? I haven't seen Basil. Basil. He's somewhere. somewhere. It's Basil. Basil. It's Basil. It's basil. 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 Who are you feeling right now in, in skateboarding? Dude, you know what got me psyched today? Some death lens moose said it. And really? he did a big spin fakie manny, which is pretty sick. And then, but you did that too. I did do that. <laughs> I've never even seen you do a big spin on flat. I know. Well, you know what's funny? I think I was playing Beeble and Mikey Taylor skate. Mm-hmm. And Mikey did a back big spin. And I said, oh, fuck, I hate that trick. I can't do that trick. And But I did one. Mm-hmm. And literally. Yeah, you're forced to do it. Forced to do it. Yeah. And I literally learned it. That day, just by playing a game of skate. I hate games of skate. Here we go, Raj. What else do you hate? (laughs) It's It's just really weird. It's like going to a bar and like you're playing pool with your buddy and then some dude's like, got next. (laughs) Who does that? Bro, I'm playing my friend here. Like, I got the winner. (laughs) What do you mean? And they put their quarter down on their quarter out. Give us some uh, World Park stories. Okay, yeah, let's start there. How How did you get on World Dance Race? Pretty much from going to skating Venice Beach a lot. Was this like... Graffiti pit days or before graffiti this is before pit days? Graffiti. This was like when this people is like bring jump, launch ramps. This is launch ramp days. This is when like Wee Man and Heavy Metal Chuck, I don't know if you guys know that, mm-hmm. dude, they would go there a lot with their launch ramp and shit. It was like probably eight, this is probably 89. Were you in the MSA? 
I was in the MSA. What's MSA? Manny Slays All? <laughs> Mexican Skateboard Association. And that, Dude, was, that was a real thing. Yeah, Block ran it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually, me and Kareem were on it. Okay, then whatever. A little bit later, like Jesse Martinez and Jeff Hartzell, they were like the big pros around Venice at the time. I guess they liked how me and Kareem skated, so they put us on the team. So you got on World at the same time Kareem did? Pretty much, yep. And then I remember when Jeff brought me to World, I had to skate in front of Rodney Mullen. Like a full-on audition? Kind of. That's weird. It was really weird. I mean, I even felt weird when getting on chocolate, mm -hmm. and I would feel weird skating in front of like Rick and Mike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even though it was not even like that. Oh, yeah. They were just homies mm -hmm. skating. I was intimidated with Mike Carroll for years. I still like, am. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes still I walk in the room and he doesn't even look at me. That's pretty normal, <laughs> I mean, though. That's pretty doing? standard for him. It's yeah, but like... it still makes me nervous. Yeah. Who was the, the team at the time? I think it was like Mike V, Jeremy Klein, Chris Pastris, Chapman. Uh, Ron Chapman. This is like before Love Child. Like, yeah, I was on probably a year before Love Child came out. A couple months later, Day One got on and Shiloh. And then Chico. Chico. And Spencer. Say, yeah. But then once those guys got on, but then everybody else exited or what, what was it? Oh, deal? yeah. Like, I, yeah. I don't even know what went down. You just Because we were just like the young kids right. we're doing our own thing. I'm pretty sure he was just putting all his effort into us. Mm -hmm. You know, like, mm -hmm. oh, these guys. Like the older old. guys were like, yeah. And they weren't even fucking old. They're probably like 20. Well, I was a junior in high school or whatever mm -hmm. when, when I think Love Child came out or whatever. But yeah. like, like Rubbish Heat, when that came out, like... That was my favorite video. I watched it over and over again. And then, like, it didn't even dawn on me that, like, a year or so later, the whole ch team was different. It was changed. Yeah. How was it yeah. filming for, like, Love Child and all that stuff with all those guys? Love what, Child? Did you guys even realize you were filming for a video then? Not really. It was just more just get footage. You and know? it was with Sock. It was with Socrates. Sock, yeah. Aaron Meza was filming, like, Chico and... All the dudes that lived up north, like Javante. I guess back then it was a little different. They're not like, hey, we're going, f we're making a video. Oh, yeah. This is what we're doing. It was just like, hey, go out and film and yeah, it's golf, do your thing. Socks there. Come pick you up. Those were the premier companies. Yeah. World <laughs> Blind. I trip out about shit back then, dude, because I was like, what, 14 or 15? Did your mom have to give permission to those guys for you? Yeah, to like, oh, mom, I'm going on a fucking couple week tour. You know, there was no cell phones back then and shit. Call me every yeah. day. Call me every city you get to. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay. Go. Did your parents know any of these guys? <laughs> they knew Day One. Okay. And like, you know, like, oh, Day One's going to go, Mom. Okay. That, you know? that was oh, like... and then my, my dad met Steve Rocco. Interesting. Yeah. How did that go? I Shit, I don't know what they talked about, but. That's an knows? interesting yeah. conversation right there. My dad was like a te like a high school teacher for years, so he's super sarcastic and yeah. high school teacher. Totally seen it all. Take no bullshit. Yeah. Uh, he's just he a, knows he's when just... people are cheating. You know when Yoon would come over. I don't know for some reason he knew Yoon would have weed or something, and he would be like, "Daniel, Yoon's here with the bong." <laughs> 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 so funny, dude. My oh, dad used to they... smoke with my friends, and I had no idea at the time. Really? Yeah. I found out like five Your friends later. didn't tell you? Nope. Uh, I had a friend named Chicken. He's like, dude, I smoked weed with your dad behind your garage one time. I was like, what? That's How funny. come you never, they never. I just didn't smoke. So I was like, I was never. So they were, to be even part your of that. friends were hiding it from you. Yeah. I wonder how that came about. Yeah. Like, yeah. was Chicken, like, proposition your dad? Like, hey, you want to. Hey, you have some of that stuff? Or was your dad out smoking and Chicken came around the corner well, and said, hey, yeah, let, me, let me hit that. Let me hit that. Yeah. <laughs> Chick in a box. Mm -hmm. Not to go way off subject, but... Oh, when you watch Lakers on cable or something, they wouldn't play Chick Hearn. Right. So Roberts would bring this fucking radio from like 1950, it looked like. I'm like, what is that? He's like, it's Chick in the Box. We're going to listen to Chick. What? Because that's what we would do. My dad, every time a Laker game would come on, and he would turn the fucking stupid announcers down and put on Chick Hearn. And he would bring this little radio to my friend's house, and we'd do the same thing. You would call it Chick in the Box. Chick in the Box. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> God, I'm fucking brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the World Park, yes. going back oh. to that. So the, when did the World Park come in? Because I've heard a lot of World stories Park, and yeah. antics. and The World Park came around right when Love Child was ending. And that's where we watched Love Child for the first time at the World Park. I want to talk about Love Child real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. When you first watched it, were you uh -huh. like, what's with all this old music? No, I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I wasn't into music like how I am now, but I thought it was rad. I know, yeah, like, you guys were all so young that, like, yeah, 
they're playing all this old 70s music and it's like you're probably like what the fuck is this yeah it's my parents music yeah we didn't have any say in that shit for music at all who chose the music i think rocco did for sure <sighs> nailed it like i i went on that love child tour and dude we were staying in the nicest hotels well i heard rocco would be like passing out hundred dollar bills $100. and he'd just, be like, like this all right daniel pick this whatever hand you don't pick i'm giving it to day one you know what i mean or vice versa and you yeah. pick the wrong hand and he would he hand day like, one a oh, hundred bucks yeah or whoever jumps in the pool first i'll give you a hundred bucks like we like crazy shit. everybody everybody was, was like ah! was he like sock film this uh yeah, yeah. kind of oh man that must have been so hard for sock <laughs> <laughs> so when the world park okay started yeah because i heard you guys would like sleep there there was like bunk beds and yeah like, that lasted closets full of product. okay but at that time there were so many people writing for world it's like carl watson Stephen callis like wow spencer york shamil dude a lot of dudes you know yeah and you guys would do all nighters there all nighters just... we had fucking girls there like little skate girls. Wow. We were, okay, even the beginning of it, we were so young, we weren't even drinking or smoking weed yet either. We were just hyped, you know what I mean? But, you know, the World Park was the first place I ever got drunk, smoked weed, probably fingered a girl. <laughs> I fucking, that's just growing up skating, I guess, you know? Mm -hmm. You get into that stuff, you know what I mean? It must have just been so fun. It was then. fun. I mean, Dude, you had a park to skate. You, yeah. you could sleep there. Everybody yeah. was there. You guys were getting paid money. Yeah. Rocco would give you money. Yeah. And then you guys would sell product. Right? Oh, you yeah. You guys would open the closet door. The closet door. That came about because they didn't want us going to the warehouse anymore because they thought we took way too much. Which we did. Which we didn't. Tim Gavin would take way too much, you know. So we couldn't get we couldn't get boards with graphics on them because they thought we would sell them or trade them in for hang ten shirts. Hang ten shirts. Yeah, oh, that's wow. a little surf though, right? Yeah. It's surf. Yeah, but dude, we loved it. I don't know why, but we would trade in boards for that shit. And trade in boards for a lot of shit or sell stuff. The blank boards, because I know you guys would always ride ride blank yeah, boards, and it actually stirred you, you up. Get, yeah. I I would take my graphics. I would get turpentine or whatever the fuck. Oh it's really? Called, and I would take my graphics off my board. But the funny thing yeah. is, like, Rocco and and Rodney were like, "All right, these guys are trading in product or whatever. Like, we need to stop giving him boards yeah. and graphics. Okay, let's yeah. give them blank boards." Yeah. And indirectly, they fucked up the whole industry. Yeah, and all of a sudden, like, shops are like, "We want blank boards." Yeah. And shops were selling blank boards. Yeah. yeah. So how long did that blank it. board thing last with you? Did they realize at a time where they like? Okay, we got to stop. Are you guys here? You we guys did the blank board thing. Dude, I'm going to say all up till I started writing for chocolate. Really? Yeah. It's almost when girls started and chocolate started, you wanted to rep that. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we had fucking so much pride in it. You know what I mean? It yeah. was like we were proud of it, so we wanted to rock that shit. But do you remember like the whole blank epidemic where like shops were only ordering blank boards? And it was like yeah. hurting the pros. Totally. You know what I mean? Like, I see that. Yeah. Well, as soon That's as these crazy. guys, I mean, they probably saw sales go down in, in L.A. alone. Yeah. Because oh, these because guys. Of these, yeah, because of us. Like, Tim Gavin was like the, not the ringleader, but he was kind of like the ringleader. Listen, I remember <laughs> a point in time where it's like, okay, boards were 20, 25 with grip. Yeah. Okay. Where were you buying a board? That? I would buy them from these guys. Yeah. Oh, right. for, when you buy 20 bucks yeah, for, yeah. from a pro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So they okay. would sell yeah. boards for 20, $25. Yeah. And I remember somebody else, because the courthouse was the, yeah, the epicenter like the of, yeah. of LA. You know, mm -hmm. everybody would yeah. go there. Somebody else was selling boards there for like 15. Mm. Fucking up the they shit. They were fucking up the black market yeah. of skateboarding. It was like, yeah. who's selling these boards for 15? Like, you're fucking up our shit. Like, there was an actual, like, thing going on yeah of like i mean i don't totally. remember who it was but some yeah, and then meanwhile you guys are fucking up the whole shops we're not even thinking about yeah. that yeah. back then i'm trying to buy a board but from you know what Tim back Gavin. then there was no there weren't many shops that's like true rip city and fucking there was rip city and there's like little maybe some mom and pop shops yeah. on the promenade or yeah. some shit but i literally I bought my first what? skateboard from rip city it was a skate blind shop. jason lee board yeah and i never bought a board at a skate shop since <laughs> I would buy boards from these guys. The last board I bought at a skate shop was a mini Nautis SMA. <laughs> last board I bought was that one up there. 
I mean, you probably bought it, you bought it online. It, like, I bought it online. Yeah. Same yeah. Shit. Yeah. Raj, you should be buying my boards. You don't make a shape I like. Yeah, well. I mean, I don't know if you guys paid attention, but, you know, the whole Bob shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, oh, yeah. I love the, it, fucked, up the fucked up shirts. Okay. Yeah. You know, they would just give us the fucked up shirts. Yeah. They wouldn't give us the shirts from the warehouse. They're like, oh, here, you guys take this one. Seconds. You guys, yeah, the they seconds. Would give seconds. You guys can't trade this in. You know, it was all about not going to shops and trading their shit in. No, I mean, dude, honestly, dude, game for Rodney Mullen was pretty, was pretty gnarly. Like, he would always ask you what you're working on. Seems would, like a little bit of an intimidating guy kinda, to he, talk to. He would be like, I think you should do this trick, Dan. You should do inward heel nose grind. I remember he used to tell me that all the time. I'm like, fuck, that's fucking hard, dude. <laughs> you know what I Did mean? Did you ever like, try it? No. Dude, Rodney was pretty, you know, he, I mean, fuck, he's Rodney Mullen. Yeah, he's trying to push the sport. Yeah, he's really nice, but could be gnarly. Yeah. I remember I saw Rodney at a, at a, when I was, I got a couple boards from him mm-hmm. and I saw him at this like demo or whatever. And I went up to him. I'm like, hey, Rodney, uh, Chris Roberts, mm-hmm. uh, you sent me some boards. He's, and he looked at me like, I don't know you, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, you've been sending me boards. Yeah, like he's what? Like, it was kind of an awkward conversation. And so I just I just was like, oh, cool. I just wanted to introduce myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm not one of these guys that goes up to people, even celebrities. Like, I don't talk yeah. to celebrities. Have you ever had another pro, like, fan out on you? And you're like, this is weird. No, no. Mm-hmm. When you're a professional, you know, and you meet other professionals. If I didn't know Daniel, yeah, I mean, yeah. he's a fellow professional. Yeah, I'd, say what's up. And we just, yeah, what up, dude? How mm-hmm. you doing? How you doing? And totally. But, but Daniel's like, dude, I love your fucking nose grinds. Well, he says that all the time to yeah. me. So I love him. So it's kind of like, yeah. you know. Nose grinds are so long. I, I, went, I went to the courthouse the other day, actually. Have you ever ollied up the stage? Yes. Dude, I used to try to switch back heel up that thing. Hey, Kelly is, you know, fakey trade, fakey manual that. So okay, listen. Okay, better. I'm sick of talking about this, okay? <laughs> I'm sick of it. We went, I already went through this in Kelly's episode. <laughs> I switch flip manual day. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And, no, but, the, hey, but those days were, um, you know, how we got fucked up shirts and blanks. I thought it was whack. I was like, man, right. we couldn't even go in the warehouse. Mm-hmm. I, I thought that was so whack. That's why every time there was like a little lock that was broken or something, we would just fucking go in there and loot. Yes. Insanely. I hope we don't get in trouble for this. They knew fucking because fucking. they had the closet full of shit. Okay, and that you shit. Guys Let me tell break. you about the closet. I would fucking go up on the roof. Of course, and the smallest guy. And get as as in that. there, open the fucking What would you door. do? You would go on the roof, like, what, through a vent or no, something? No, it was like, kind of like a cubicle. You know how cubicles are? Yeah. You know, you like, just climb the wall. Yeah, climb the wall, and it was like a ladder to get over it, and then there was like, you know, like a budget ceiling, I would say. Oh, like the ones you could lift up? Like and drop yes, down, like the, yeah, yeah, then just okay. take it out. Jump in there, fucking! I remember we would fucking go to every skate spot and sell shit. What was a hot spot other than the courthouse? It was like a Robinson's May. I remember the Robinson's May. Remember was that it the three up, stair? three up, yeah. and the oh, lights going Walter, off. Right? Yes. Yeah. Kids there had so much money, dude. We would just come up so much. Beverly Hills. Yeah. yeah, and then that's the first time. Like I remember this kid was like, "Oh, I just got to use the ATM." I was like, "What the fuck's the ATM?" <laughs> <laughs> he was probably younger than you. Yeah, yeah, totally. And he had a card. I was like, man, these kids have fucking credit cards. They fucking got money. Dude. This, <laughs> this, stay is, here. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. What was the that most was money great. you ever made? Like selling shit? Yeah. In one day, like going from spot to spot, probably like 300. I mean, back then when you're back 15, then was, yeah, that was 16 bad. years yeah. old. Yeah. It's a couple yeah. boards. 300 couple bucks. Of, I mean, I felt weird stealing shit, but whatever. And it's not like they would kick you guys off no or way, they would yeah. just restock the fucking closet. Yeah, right? totally. Like, Totally, dude. The, the yeah. way that Rocco probably operated, at the end of the day, he mm-hmm. would probably just laugh about it. Oh, yeah, he'd probably be like, these fucking kids again. I mean, Rocco and Rodney did a good job with keeping everyone together, I think, you know. But I think like after all that shit happened, after everybody quit, I think those dudes were over hooking right. their riders up like that. Well, they're tired of getting fucked, probably. Probably, I mean... But, you know, I think about those days, and they feel like they were long, but it was only like three years. It was only three years, huh? <laughs> yeah. By the time you got on, and by the time Chocolate and Girls started. Well, Girls started first. Yeah, 93. 93. Chocolate, and then Chocolate 94. Like May of 94 or okay. something. Yeah. So that was three years. Pretty much. Because I know a lot of people got on first. And yeah. then people followed later. I followed, yeah. You followed later. I followed like a two weeks after. After. Were you, when people got on, were you like, 
What? The yeah, hell? I remember I went on a school trip and then I come back. Whatever, I talked to Richard or something. He was like, "Yeah, dude, I quit world and fucking gonna ride for girls." We're like, "What?" I was like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "Yeah, everybody quit. Like Chico, Ben, Sanchez." You're like, like the last one, yeah. Yeah, I was like, "What? No way." And I was like, fuck, I want to quit too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, all your buddies. Did, yeah, they, did, they, did they offer you? Or like, how did it come about? I think I called Tim or Jerron, one of those two. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, talk to Rodney and quit. And then I did. And Why didn't day one come along? Oh, but dude, he was getting loot from World already. He's probably like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. He's thanks. like, what? Yeah. What a shakeup, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It was and shake that up was in the industry. Really big. Back and, then. and skateboarding was really small back then. I remember seeing the first commercial in 411 and it was like i think it was costin doing a line at the courthouse for girl for, for girl, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah literally like he just up the stairs down the stairs into the fountain and then it had like the names yeah, yeah. And i was like no way yeah look at this <laughs> this is my new favorite company Dude. it was crazy it yeah was when you crazy. see all those names together you're like Fuck. oh my god but no another thing too that i wanted to talk about was i mean not many skaters can say this but you got shot Oh, yeah, I got shot. So what what happened? You were at a graduation party. Yeah, I just right? graduated high school. This was in Culver City. Mm -mm. No? It was right near Penmar Park. Penmar in Venice. Penmar Park. So in that little neighborhood. Yes. High Which school. is a fucking nice neighborhood. Oh, there was a shooting not too long ago. Yeah, well, there. in that park, a lot of shit happens. I don't know why. but Things happen in parks. Yeah. That's yeah. why I don't go there. I'm not a park guy. I stay away from parks <laughs> like completely. Parks. High school graduation party. <laughs> yes. You guys are just out in front. Out in front, partying. What were you guys doing out in front? Usually a well, party... Well, the parents probably didn't want us in the house. Yeah, I think that's what that was it. We're so it wasn't in the, even in the backyard. Dude, when we got shot, I think it was like two in the morning or something. So... So you guys had been there all night? Yeah. In the front yard? Like in the house. Okay. Like so in the house. And time like, to go. Kind of like, yeah, time to go. You guys kiss get and out guys are here. just milling about out, yeah, out front. Yeah, just talking outside. Yeah. I was sitting on a car and I looked up. Or I look to the intersection, I see this, I think it was like a Datsun, you know, those old school looking trucks, like pickup had, trucks. Oh, pickup truck. Did it have its lights off? Lights off. No way. And I was like, holy shit, lights off. And then, blah, 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 push, like, I don't know, man, like a bunch of fucking guns, right? Yeah. All hell and, breaks loose. Yeah, just fucking loud. It was so loud. And scenes, fucking lights. And I remember I, I was looking kind of like this, and then I look in this direction to jump off the car which the sidewalk was right in front of me okay and when i did that so you were almost you were in the street yeah well i was i was on like i was sitting on the car that was parked on the sidewalk was parked by the sidewalk parallel park so you jumped yeah, on, to on the by the curb yes yeah. and then friends right in front of me and he falls and mm. i was like whoa and he got shot in the leg but i didn't know that you yeah. know what i mean and then i remember kind of tripping out jumped off the car and I guess when I jumped off the car, the bullet hit me. Oh, wow. But I did not feel it. My, my adrenaline was just fucking going nuts, you know? I'm sure. So by the second, third step, I, you know, stepped down on my right leg and my leg just fucking crumbles, you know? It felt like it was straight, but it was like... So it shattered your bone, your yeah, femur. Yeah, my femur. My femur fractured in three, three places. So... I remember kind of picking up my pant leg and tripping out like, oh shit, my leg's not moving. But it felt like... And were they still shooting at this... Still... Yeah. Well, yeah they must have stopped in the street. Yeah, they're and stopped were in the really street. And really like... like you know, like going Jesus at us. Jesus Christ. And then fucking my... I just feel my friend pick me up and we're running to a car. And I think that first car left. Then another car comes up, shoots us again. <sighs> And then I drop because my friend gets shot in the arm while he's carrying me. So I kind of got shot again no like, way. in my face or something because he had me like, you know, carrying me like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like head and legs over here. And then my other buddy picks me up, runs back to the house, and then he gets shot in the hip. It's crazy to think that somebody would have the mental capacity in that, all that thing to pick, pick somebody up, up yeah. and start running away. Yeah. Like, you would think... Gunfires going like off. Everybody you would think just everybody would out. just scatter, yeah. yeah, like 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 cockroaches when totally. the lights yeah. on, right? Dude, it was like a movie. You know what I mean? It was so fucking loud, and then uh, it probably lasted probably like two minutes. 
Two uh, minutes. Yeah. That's longer than a huge earthquake. It's fucking... Because I remember when my friend was running with me, when he picked me up at first and running with me, I seen another car come up, so I knew there was two cars. Okay. And then my friend was like, somebody help us. And they were just like... Bah, bah, bah. Jeez. And I was like, oh my God. How and many I people dropped. got shot that night? Five people. Nobody but died. Every, everyone Nobody died. died. That... So you didn't feel anything? Oh, no, like, man. Numb... The only time when I felt my, the pain was when I went to the... When I got to the emergency room and they did x-rays. And that's... They had to like move your leg. Move my leg. Dude, that shit hurt a lot. So much. Did those guys ever get caught? Oh, no. No way. No. So you're in there. Do they carry you in the house? Or where do they carry you? Oh, yeah. You? My friend who's like a football player guy, you know, he's mm-hmm. pretty big, puts me over the fence. The fence is like a little gate type okay. shit. And tries passing me off to my friend who's a girl that also got shot. Oh, shit. And she dropped me. Did she get shot while trying like... No, 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 no. So now you're over the gate. Over the gate. And you're laying over on the, the ground. Gate, laying on the ground. And then the firemen came, ambulance, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then they're... All the people that got shot, they scoop you guys up. Yeah. Take you guys take to the hospital. Take us to, yeah, the hospital in Culver City. You, how did your parents find oh, out? Oh, the cops right? probably called. Yeah. yeah. And I think they told them, your your son is shot. He's at the hospital. Right. Come down now. They were just like... They, not even where I got shot. So okay. they were probably freaking the of fuck course. out. Of course. You know, right. like, what? Yeah. And then they came, and then they're like tripping out. Were you conscious and, the entire time? Yeah. What were you thinking, like, on the way to the hospital? Like, like I remember thinking, like, dude, could I walk? Am I going to be able to walk? Could I walk? Could I walk? Yeah. Asking the dude in the ambulance that. And he would, like, touch my feet. And he would say, Can you feel could this? you feel this? I'm yeah. like, yeah. He's like, all right. You're good. You'll be fine. Yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. But then I remember thinking, like, when can I skate again? Because I just got on chocolate, you yeah. know? And I was supposed to go on a tour, like, the first tour or whatever. I was in the hospital for, like, a week. That shit sucks. Mm-hmm. So you think getting shot in your legs, not your growth? <laughs> I think skating stumped my growth. You know, here's my philosophy on this, Raj. Let me tell you guys, right? I think your body adapts to what you're doing, right? So mm-hmm. in high school, if we were a basketball players, Probably right? Stretch out a little we would more. stretch out a little more. We'd be in the weight room doing mm-hmm. the thing. Like if we mm-hmm. were football players, Get our bodies would shit. adjust to what we're doing. So mm-hmm. we're skateboarders. So we have to keep, you know, thin and lean and mm-hmm. our bodies just, cause it's weird. Cause I look at other people like our age. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm like, shape. well, not only out of shape, but they're just bigger people. Yeah, totally. Too. I mean, skaters are usually pretty skinny dudes. I, I'm just saying, you like, know? I think your body adapts to what you're yeah. into. If mm-hmm. you're into sitting on the mm-hmm. couch, eating ice cream, your body's going to adapt to that. Yeah, and you're going to be fat. Fuck. I, I mm-hmm. think your body just adapts, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, man. I don't know. Crazy. Okay, you know what else hurt is when they put the catheter in me. Ooh. Because I had... And when they take it out. Damn. Dude, yeah, and she put it... Luckily, it was a woman nurse. It was kind of tight. You know, grabbing handsome. She's like, you're handsome, bigger Shirley. than I thought. Yeah. Oh, handsome's so cool. Oh, yeah, handsome. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But... <laughs> this guy calls his penis handsome. I handsome? Know. What else could I, you call I, your they're penis? They're the most grotesque things on a human body. But mine is handsome. Okay, so you're in the hospital. I was in the hospital, right? right do they operate on your leg? Uh, later, I was waiting for a while, dude. I got probably got to the hospital around maybe 2.45, 3 o'clock. So you got in there, they took the x-rays, and then they... About, took like, the x-rays. I was chilling for a while, yeah. yeah. And because, like, you know, I had bullet fragments. Like You still have a fucking bullet in your leg, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I got bullet fragments in my leg. They didn't want to take it out because it was too close to the artery. Oh, right. wow. Yeah. They said, eh, we'll just leave it in there. Dude, I thought, I, they a, I thought they put a I thought they put a rod in there. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they put I got a, rod. a metal rod. Yeah, yeah, I do got a metal rod from here to here. They yes. never took it out. They said I could get it taken out, okay. but it's fine. Huh. You know? Yeah, either way, you're good. Yeah. Okay, the catheter, that shit sucked. So that and I've never had one. So they take a little tube it's a big tube it's a, a big, big tube. tube why it's is it so big? Big. it's so big i like a fucking bal- do it's not like know. a little balloon at Raj, the end you're it. holding your hand like it's Dude, this it's fucking huge. big no okay so it, like so it, you've had one yeah when what, i had my heart surgery they had one. Oh my god yeah they it's so funny because now why do they do that so you just don't piss everywhere yeah because yeah. you can't get up to pee you don't just say hey give me a bottle i do this on tour in the van all the time were you awake when they put the catheter in yes oh see i was under when i put mine in so I what are you awake, talking about? Bro. You don't know what it's like, I, then? I, I was awake when they took it out, though. That oh. shit hurts. Oh, dude. I, would, okay. I, I would think it would hurt going in going in, more okay, than it would take it. A, a tube, they just kind of pull it out. It's like suction, though, when they take yeah. it out. It's like... 
<laughs> you know, it's yeah. Just fucking, when they were pulling fucking, my note, I had to stop the guy like three times. Really? Okay, so they dude. put it up. Okay, I mean, the how way, did they? The way I mean, she they put open it in, up the, I, what, dude. How did they, oh like, man, I think this? they grease it. Oh. They grease the fucking. They grease, they grease they run the a fucking, fucking thing. How far do they just put it up, there? up your Dude, fucking... it probably goes. I don't know, man. No, it goes far. It goes all the way to your bladder. No, okay. it yeah. feels like it. No, it does. Dude, it so feels a gnarly. Catheter will have like it's like a long rubber tube. I mean, yeah, and it's got like a, a weird little like uh, bulb or whatever at the end of it that they usually put like inflated. Dude, like water my stomach is like so that way twisting. Thinking, thinking about it, it feels like you're. Constantly taking a piss, yeah. kind oh, of. God. You know, you with, know, with you, a semi hard on. Yeah, you Jesus. know, you get hit in the nuts, yeah. and then you feel it right here, yeah. kind of. Right. It, f- it feels like someone's pushing there. But dude, okay, I had that done to me, right within an like, hour or two when I got to the hospital. That's horrendous. Was it worse than being shot? Dude, fuck yeah, <laughs> that hurt. You know, getting shot was whatever, didn't hurt, but that really fucking hurt. But what they gave me for pain, I was like on the morphine machine. That shit was pretty. Gnarly. You would just hit the button. Yeah, and fucking pass out. Did the cops come and like interview you? I think the cops. Yeah, I think so. The cops come in and be like, "This guy's been hitting the button too much." Yeah. We, we <laughs> can't like, talk to him. Yeah, we're we gonna have to wait. And I woke up to like Kareem and Joey Sorrell like in the hospital because they came and visited me. And That's Joey Sorrell. Pretty fucking rad. Kareem yeah. Like, That's pretty sick. Like open your eyes and like. Oh, what's up, Kareem? What's up, Joey? <laughs> yeah. What are you guys doing here? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was Kareem, Joey, and maybe Billy or something. Those, yeah, those dudes came. God, Papecki. Was so sick. <laughs> That's you know? amazing, yeah. right? Dude, right. Billy Valdez was so sick. Oh, one of my favorites. I love watching him one skate. One of my favorites. Yeah, after that shit, I was out for like, like a year, I would. Took I would year. say a year. Did you do like physical therapy? I did physical and therapy and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Taught me a lot of fucking stretches and shit. Do you still do them? No. Yeah, I didn't think yeah. so. So, yeah, skating sucked. Like when you're hurt. <laughs> do you ever like reliving your head? Yeah, all the time. But I just remember seeing that car, and I'm like, oh, they're gonna shoot at us. I swear to God, right before I could think, they yeah. start shooting. What year was this? Ninety four. I just feel like that whole time. In LA, it was just like, well, like, yeah, nothing but fucking drive When, when so I, there was uh, a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah there was a lot. Yeah, so it was like, oh shit, there was fuck, a lot. I'm fucked. I mean, when I, I went to Santa Monica High School, yeah, and there was drive by shootings. Oh, totally. Well, yeah. even like skating the graffiti pits, yeah, in Venice was yeah. like, sun goes down, you're we, gone, we're out, yeah, we gotta go because yeah. we're gonna die. Th- we're yeah. gonna die. Talk about skateboarding, really... you know, you're in this like graffiti pit, yeah, with like these sick ledges, it was, and like, it was good. you got homeless people taking shits in yeah. the corner, <laughs> and like. You fall, you know, you have like to... talk about gritty. Fucking... Just makes yeah. you skate so much it's, better. It's now we're fucking he's at Stoner Park. Yeah, fucking slipping around. Yeah, but but Venice terrible. back then, right. I mean, it was just like people would come around the corner and you'd be like, who fucking who's coming totally. around that corner right yeah. now? You yeah. know? Yeah. But then yeah, like sun goes down, I'm out. Mm-hmm. Like later, guys. Oh, you're staying? Huh, I'm not. Yeah. I'm going. Let's yeah. go. It Which so made it nice. fun. And it it was made it like exciting and like you had to be on your toes. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, so do you think they're really just buried? They are. They are, right? Yeah. Like that whole Red thing Bull is... Red Bull was going to like um, unearth the whole thing for a contest. Like the city of Venice was like, we were like, no, we don't want no, we don't want to do it all the sand when you dig it up. Yeah. That's true. You know? that That's true. true. So Couch Surf. Yeah. It's what was a, this? It's, what is this? Couch Surf is a company that my friend Marshall and I are doing. You know, it's a fun little thing. Doing clothes. Or right now, we're starting with t-shirts, hats. But we're going to make... Whatever we want. So you what's know, your yeah. involvement? I'm doing everything, bro. That's kind of hard for me to believe. <laughs> Let me tell you. No, man. Hey, we, it's like a company me and my friend Marshall are doing. He would always joke around about doing a company, you know? And I'm like, what should we call it? He's like, couch surf. I'm like, okay, sounds good. And then for a while, we're, it was just a joke. And then he was like, dude, I made these shirts. Check it out. And I was like, Fuck, those are pretty sick. Right. Then we start running with it ever since. So, do you guys have a store online, or like, how do you? Yes, do we it, do right? have an online big cartel. Oh, thing, right. You know, okay. it was something more, something creative that me and Marshall could yeah. do. It's like right now, it's just see how far it takes us. You know, yeah. I mean, already people are starting to feel it. You yeah, know? which right. is rad. I'm yeah. happy about that. Like for something like this, you know, you just have to keep it fun. You know, like yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to make it a job. Right. You know what I mean? Just something. But like it could turn into. Oh, one, totally. You know, I hope it does. That'll be cool. Yeah. You know, to make money off this, yeah. but as of right now, it's just cool to have to do something. 
yeah creative and fun yeah. and you know it gets me looking at other companies like the, what they're doing i'm like what the I could fucking do that. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I hope you guys hey, kill like, it. Just, and yeah. I'm just psyched that people are psyched on it. All right. Well, Dan's got to go. It's been a nice show. It's been a pleasure. Love all y'all. Well, thanks for coming. What, have, what have we learned today? I don't know. I, didn't, I haven't listened to anything you guys have said. Knuckles. Seriously. Can we smoke a cigarette Give me now? some knuckles. Because I've been wanting the cigarette for like two Who hours. Who got you into smoke? You did. No, that's not yes, true. Yes, you did. That's not true. Yeah. Why do I get that blame from any, everybody? Because Daniel been, Espinosa. Because he's you. been smoking since he was 12. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's bullshit, right. man. All right, Dan. We'll get back to your boo. I know she's calling you. Hey, thank you guys, man. You guys are the best. All right. Check out Couch Surf. Yeah, please buy Couch Surf. Now, here we go. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all the time we have tonight. So join us again when we'll have a better guest. <laughs> for sure. What? I'm like the best guest ever. Get the hell out of here. Crazy is like those dudes that like you know Welsh back then or whoever. Then when, when they weren't liking what I was doing in the past. I don't know how this happened, but now I'm team manager and pro for both those brands. <laughs> like back then, dude, I would get old wheels and go spray paint them white, you know, and then like get old 